Hi, my name's Isabella Sosha Suarez. You can call me Bella. I'm from New Jersey and I would love to be part of the Youth Advisory Council for World Oceans Day. Now, you might be wondering, what does she know about ocean conservation? Well, I'm only 15, gonna be 16 in 20 days, but I have so much to offer when it comes to ocean conservation. This is my current project. I've been fortunate enough to have many amazing memories with the ocean. It's a big part of my life. Actually, it's a big part of everyone's life. 70% of the world's surface is the ocean. 50 to 80% of the world's life is inhabited in the big blue sea. Big deal, right? Then why do we treat it so badly? A big thing that I've been noticing is that we don't realize the damage we are causing. Everyone who knows me knows I'm a documentary geek. I watch Mission Blue chasing coral, a plastic ocean, ocean like it's massive. And I know, I realized from watching those things what a big problem ocean pollution is. Even in the Jersey Shore, we find water bottles, plastic bags, even chip bags, all on our Jersey beaches. And I realized it's either that people don't care or they don't know what an impact they make on our oceans. And that's when I realized I had to make a difference. And a million ideas came to, in my head, but I realized I had to start small before I could go big. And I started with my community, starting with my school. At first, I didn't know how to get involved. Should I join an ocean cleanup? Should I, you know, go to the beach and spread awareness, throw out my trash? I didn't even know where to start. And that's when I got the idea, you know, we could just keep cleaning up other people's messes or we could teach them that they shouldn't throw garbage, you know, into the ocean and into our beloved home. You know what I mean? So uh, I decided I was going to make a PowerPoint presentation and teach all my classmates how ocean conservation is important and how it affects your everyday life, even though you might not realize it. My school has a digester that allows us to process food into compost that is used to fertilize plants. This keeps uneaten food out of landfills and into gardens. According to climatecentral.org, 3.3 billion tons of CO2 is being produced just from wasted food. The CO2 building up is what contributes to coral bleaching and ocean acidification. In order to reduce our footprint, I had to inform all the students and faculty what was going on. Through a teaching presentation, I started talking to teachers and students about isolating their food using the different color bins in the cafeteria. Our goal was to change the culture and encourage students to sort their own trash. I even talked to my administrators about the problem and got them on board. I brought so much awareness to my school, and I feel if I'm given the chance and platform, I can bring awareness to many others.